Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a video that will show you how to check your memory on your laptop and see um, how to go about upgrading it as well. Okay, from your start menu, let's go down there, right click and move up to System. Once you've done that, that opens up the System Information window and this is just basic information, your um, Windows version, your processor, your memory, your usable memory, um, your system type, also the name of your computer. One of these days I'm going to change this name. I don't particularly like it. At any rate, let's close this out. And there's another way to get some additional information off your laptop. Go down to your start menu again. And this time on your keyboard, just go ahead and start typing the word MS Info. Once you've done that, go up top here and click on System Information. And that opens up a window that will give you an, an abundant amount of information. You could spend hours in here looking and uh, processing it in your head. But at any rate, we want to focus on the topic of this video, which is memory. We have a total of four gigabytes. We have um, physical memory, virtual memory, and the total virtual memory. And then on the left side, we have um, additional resources that we can look at uh, and uh, hardware resources as well. And again, you can spend hours just going in here and looking at all the uh, information if you choose to. Okay, let's close this out. And the next item is the performance uh, window, which is the task manager. Press Control, Alt, Delete on your keyboard. And once you've done that, go ahead and click on task manager and that opens up this window which is your task manager window and we can click on the performance tab and this tells you the percentage and the amount of usage that's going on with your CPU um, as you can see I'm using a lot of resource on my CPU because I am recording and uh, we click on memory and what is really nice about this uh, performance tag um, is or tab rather is that we can see a graph and this is all in real time so this is really cool um, you can also check your disk and also your ethernet and your Wi-Fi um, performance as well and then up top here there's other items that you can click on and check um, and go through um, if you have an interest to do so and they all have multiple columns all right, let's close this out. And uh, part two of this video is how to go about upgrading your memory, physically upgrading it on your laptop if it's capable of doing that. So let's go ahead and grab a laptop. In this case, I'm using an older Acer laptop. And what you want to do is definitely unplug the AC plug from it um, and then flip it over and remove the battery um, if it's removable, hopefully it is. And then once you've done that, you want to go ahead and ensure that all the power is depleted out of your laptop so there's no static discharge. And you open it up and hold the power dot, uh, button down for a few seconds. And once you've done that, go ahead and close it, flip it back over. And at this point, if you're... Um, memory is not easily accessible we need to remove the panel and in that case or in this case rather I need to do that and through the magic of video editing I'm speeding this up uh, quite a few minutes or you know X number of times rather and I'm gonna remove this first panel because uh, that allows me to get inside and right here this is my um, hard drive and then over here is my memory, so I'm going to take this panel off so I can get to my memory here. And um, again, this is the hard drive, the fan, the CPU, and here's the memory right there. And if I push down on these levers on each side, um, my memory module will pop up that I have installed. And I happen to have two of them installed, two gigabytes each and um, I want to go ahead and upgrade this and in this case 
Um, I'm going to put the same ones back in, but if you choose to upgrade, certainly this is the process in which you go about doing it. And um, once you've gone and put the new memory back into the slots by just um, pressing or inserting them at an angle and pressing them in. Now we're ready to go ahead and close this back up and I'm going to put this panel back on. And again, I'm going to speed things up through the magic of video editing X number of times. This puts this all back together and we're ready to rock and roll. All right, that's it for this video. Subscribe and leave a like.